is Thursday, and you know what that means, baby. It is time for some high school fantasy football here on MaxPreps.com. I'm Zach Poff, and with that, let me bring in my partner in crime, Chris Stonebreaker. How did uh, week two fare for you? Same as week one. So not, <laughs> not, not so, so good for I, you. I lost. Uh, no moral victories here. I'm just going to move on to week three, and hopefully things will change. And I'm hoping that that doesn't happen each and every week here on the show. But I just say, let's just move on. So far, two for two. So with that, let's yeah. move on. And before we do check out our week three lineups, let's check out the scoreboard from week two. My squad put up a 180 spot on the board, and your team put up a respectable buck 44, but in a losing effort. I improved dramatically week over week, putting up 144 points without my wide receiver, Jalen Hawkins, whom the coach elected not to play due to knee soreness. He put up 40 points for you last week, so if he duplicated that effort, I would have won by four. So, so you are looking for a little more of a victory there, <laughs> partner. And uh, my team did pretty well. As you get a look at Stonebreaker's team there, and Kellen Overstreet, we'll get on him later, had another big-time game. But looking at my squad real quick, you see Kyler Murray had another big-time game, nearly 400 yards and five TDs. Demarcus Lodge held without a catch. And uh, Dallas Skyline's defense really had a game plan to shut him down and make others beat him. And they did that, walked away with the win 40 to 30 against the previously ranked number one team on our XM25 ranking. Cole Thompson, another big time game, four TDs, 200 plus yards receiving. Katie, another top 15 team that lost last week. They were upset by the Woodlands 24 to 7, snapping their 50 game regular season winning streak. But my stud from last week was the Big time junior running back Keontae take it to the house Ennis from Winchester High. He had 332 yards on the ground with six TDs on only 11 carries. He averaged over 30 yards per carry and they knocked off Union County 69 to 12. And so far this season, Ennis has rushed for over 1,200 yards in four games, averaging 303 yards and is currently the second leading rusher on our Max Prep Stats leaderboard. And Stoney, who were some guys that balled out for you last week in week two? Now, even though some of my players, you know, didn't play, and I could have been here and saying, you're just not gonna get over that, <laughs> are you? <laughs> Woulda, coulda, shoulda, but didn't. Um, my other team, the other teammates on my team actually came up pretty big, as you saw with 144 points. And one of those guys was Kellen Overstreet, running back from Penny High in Missouri. And of course, I call him Mr. Dependable. The boy was a stat star again. This week he showcased his receiving ability going for 161 yards and two TDs to go along with his 186 yards rushing and five TDs on the ground. Overstreet got a whopping 74 points this past wow. week. Fantasy stud and maybe even more impressive than that was my Mountain Point defense. They allowed 14 total yards, sacked the quarterback three times, forced two fumbles, one for a TD, and had a kickoff return for a TD. The Pride won the game 73-0, to zero, and Mountain Point's defense and special teams got me 39 points. Wow, only 14 yards allowed. I wish the Seattle Seahawks defense would have done that for me last week, but uh, not working out so well. So let's go ahead and check out our Week 3 lineups this week. And since you went last week, Stoney, let's check out my squad first. We'll touch on Tony James, uh, stud three-star QB for Arlington Bowie, and Preston Williams, a five-star wideout for Lovejoy here in just a sec. But Columbus East three-star running back Markel Jones, the Purdue commit, has rushed for over 1,000 yards this season with 15 TDs and is currently the fourth leading rusher in the country. I'm also going with Sac C's four-star wideout Devin Duvernay, who has nearly 500 yards and five TDs so far this year. And I'm rolling with the De La Salle squad, the number seven team on our excellent 25 rankings presented by the Army National Guard as they take on Del Oro this weekend. And last year they beat them 41 to three. So let's check in on my three-star stud QB. One of my sleeper picks, I'm going with Tony James. And this kid is absolute money. The TCU commit has thrown for nearly 700 yards and eight TDs and has another buck 57 on the ground with another touchdown. He's teaming up with a guy next year that he reminds me a lot at TCU, former standout quarterback for DeSoto, Desmond White. And I think Mr. James is going to put up Des White type of numbers this week against Anderson High out in Austin, Texas, later on tonight. And before we move on to Stoney Squad, let's take a look at one of the best wide receivers in the country, Lovejoy's Preston Williams. 
The six foot, 490 pound five star wideout is rated as the fourth best wide receiver in the 2015 class on 247's composite rankings. And the Tennessee ball commit is coming off a six reception, 149 yard game. And the 26th overall recruit took it to the house four times in their 27 24 W against Hillgrove High. They play McEachern this week, so I'm rolling the dice with Williams going up against one of the best defenses in the country. Now, I'm feeling like I could build off some of that momentum that it. I had last you week. You need it. The chips will fall into place. You have some great players, as you have shown that you've been able to pick some very good studs that uh, have actually produced for you on the field. They're balling, baby. And they're balling. And so I feel some confidence, though, that my you team will do the same this week. Let's take a look at my week three team. And as you can see, I have Carson Williams from Groover High School in Texas. He has... 15 catches for 355 yards and 6 TDs last week alone to be atop of all stat stars. He faces 0-3 Clarendon this week, so might not play whole game, but hoping he puts up enough stats in the first half to help the team and, and my team. Wide, receive, wide receiver Timmy Jones of Biloxi in Mississippi. He is a sophomore, and through three games, he has 697 yards, 42 receptions, and 8 TDs. Hit your averages, and I will be fine. And I'm going with the defense from Katie. You used them this week. They did not allow a point in their first two games before allowing 24 last week in their first regular season loss since 2009. I'm looking for a bounce back against one and two Maid Creek from their team as a whole. So to move on to these two studs that I want to highlight this week, how about coming off of a bye, the 6'2", 200 pound running back Soso Jamabo of Plano West in Texas was anything but so-so after having 484 yards six touchdowns on 31 carries with nine of those carries going for 20 or more yards in his last outing the 47th ranked player in the class of 2014 24 7 composite rankings will be leading his wolves teammates against one and two plano east friday night i'm looking for some big numbers against his crosstown rivals and I know it is early, but after two losses, I had to pick quarterback Jake Browning from Folsom High in Folsom, California. The Washington commit has already broke the California's all-time yardage mark, California's touchdown record mark, and then went for 532 yards and seven TDs in a week three 56-6 win over Pleasant Grove. This week they play 0-2 Burbank at home on the blue field this Friday, and I have a feeling that that well-oiled machine of an offensive Folsom will not skip a beat. Well, I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> You're <laughs> already going with the Jake Brownie card, and we're just here in week three, hey, baby. A week three victory counts the same as a week six victory, and right now being down 0-2, I'm going to have to and so get so. one of those wins. I mean, those two guys very well could put up a buck 25 spot, and that's just two dudes. Hey, and the way that my teams have been going and the luck I've had, that might be the only two people that play. So hopefully they put up enough to beat you. That's we'll all see. We'll see. Well, that is all the time we have this week on the High School Fantasy Football Show. For Chris Stonebreaker, I'm Zach Poff. And don't forget, Friday, 12 p.m. Pacific time, jump on your computers, go to MaxPreps.com for some Friday Night Live with Steve Montoya and Chris Stonebreaker, the best high school football show in the country. Once again, I'm Zach Poff here on MaxPreps.com, America's source for high school sports.